Yo, it's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Hey, bro, we going to uh, start it off. Can you introduce yourself? Let them know uh, exactly where you're from and your social media. Yes, sir. I'm Easy to Block Cap, and I'm from Philadelphia, PA, social media. Easy Block Cap on everything except Instagram. Add that one to the Easy Block Cap. So, so bro, we going to start from the beginning, bro. Like, who was Easy coming up, man, in Philly, bro? Young, uh, like, teenage yeah, young, years. Young, I got, um, I want to say this, too. I got a book out. I got an um, audio book out called, you mean, Hemothy Chapter 1. So, it's basically the same thing I'm kind of about to explain a little bit so i'm gonna um just shorten it a little bit but i explain in detail um on the on a, like on the book too as well but you mean easy um for, i'm from i'm from philly um and my mom basically was like you know in the streets too you mean as, as, as well so you know we we moved around a lot and all that she probably jailed maybe about three four times to like back and forth so you know between like family houses and aunties and grandma houses and foster homes and like shelters you know we finally got it together so you mean like i'm really like product of you know what everybody be talking about like of, of their like hood or their like environment i've really seen like a lot of shit that people talk about so you know what i'm saying like that because i've been in so many situations or just seen so much like dark shit you know what i mean I'm like that um juvenile so I graduated high school at, in a juvenile facility. You know what I mean? That was the time that I couldn't really come out. I was only really scheduled from 16 to 17, but at the time that my mom went back to jail when I was 16, so I didn't have anywhere to go. So I basically, I just like stayed there until, I mean, until I was like legally um, enough that I couldn't stay there anymore. So then from there on, so, you know, enough just, you know, trying to find a way to figure it, you know, everything out and all so that. So take, take us back just a second, though, like, Mm -hmm. You know, 16, like you said, you, you were pretty much incarcerated at the time. So, like, what was Philly like at that time, bro? Like, can you, can you describe it? Well, I mean, see, for for us, for me and my my brother, because we was in shelter, but we was in, like, foster homes. So when I tell y'all a story that I literally walk my brother's children and youth, so in Philadelphia, like, the kids' system is called that. It's called children and youth. So, like, I like so we was floating, you know, kind of back and forth, different foster homes to, like, foster homes. So, you know, like, um, it was, it was, it was, it was, it, was, it wasn't as bad as day because, like, you know, niggas was actually fighting then. You know what I mean? Like, so in school, and all of that, like, you know, we was, like, fighting. So a lot of people really wasn't, you know, because we got, think we got, like, a hundred murders, like, right now, and it's only, like, April. So, like, that's kind of, like, bad as hell. So, you mean, as far as back then, you know, it was more fight, like, kids and, like, bad, you know what I mean, and, um, and all of that, so we ain't really get to have, a, like, a state, like, a state thing, you know what I mean, so I can't tell you, like, what, like, two, like, two parent household, or, or, or I can't, like, tell you, like, you know what I mean, like, yo, we was all, it was all peaches and cream and all of that shit from, yo, wake up one morning, like, the mom making breakfast for everybody, I can't, I can't tell you all that, because that's not the life that I live, you know what I'm saying, like that, and when, even when we was stable living at, like, my grandma you know what I mean that's probably like close to like stability as like a younger child you know what I mean as far as that so when did you when did you pick up the pen started rapping uh when I was in like foster home so being that uh we didn't really have anything to do um I remember the bad boy soundtrack came out so it's a bad boys one so I don't know what year that was but um I remember hearing that song with uh Puffy and um me the uh song the um Bad, 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 bad boy Joe. And I liked it like the actual beat and shit. So um I wrote like my first rap to that or what I thought it was, you know, rapping at that time or whatever like that. Like my first round to that. So that might have been like 13, 14. Did people tell you like when you did you start sharing it with people or you was just writing and keeping it to yourself? Um, wrote it, shared it with my, like, brothers and shit. I remember me bringing it to my dad time when I went to his house. And I know my dad told me, like, hey, yo, that shit was ass at one point. I swear, <laughs> swear to God, he took trash and all of that. So, I mean, if I was, like, a, uh, like, a not a strong kid at the time, that shit probably, um, like, like, uh, I would have probably, like, stopped time. But, you know what I mean? It was just more for, um, expression. Because even then, even then, like, 13, 14, like, start to write, I was always telling like stories, so it probably was always like sad story shit, but I still was always like I was always telling stories and shit. Did any of your peers tell you like you got to keep doing it? Um, not, I wouldn't say like nobody was saying like hobby like the, like yo to keep doing it. It was just nobody knew, even my, myself. We wouldn't like where it, it wasn't no studio. We wasn't going to no studio at the time. You know what I mean? Like we wasn't like rapping on the corner. So you know, you know. So so this is the same time. 
okay, so I'll take you into this. So this is the same time Reed and all them was on the corner, rap nature, and and because Reed and I'm only like three years I'm older. Than, so this is so this is the time that they was like on the corners and rap. Like this is when I actually was watching them like five. You dig what I'm saying? Before I started, right? You know, like that. So I was like, you know, that was more of a um watching kind of kids like the same age as us, like doing it. And I I was that event time because them niggas was like rapping. Yo, I just want to say one thing. It's your boy Worldwide Ja. Make sure y'all shout out Death in the Cloud Chaser. It's much love. We outside. You know what it is. You feel me? Make sure y'all tune in to the channel. Y'all see what's going on. We out here. We make sure we putting on for the city. It's always love. You feel me? Shout out my nigga Big Chuck. Shout out everybody to all the greens. You feel me? And shout out everybody that's up here speaking and speaking their opinion. Follow all the guys. It's much love always, you hog. Your boy Worldwide John from New York and Brooklyn. It's love everywhere. You hear me? No, no doubt, no doubt. We're gonna finish up. So with the so now, okay, people, you pretty much okay. You, you inspired now. The people that's inspiring you right now, who was that? Like you said, it was the uh who was the ones that was inspiring you? Well, no, know? I mean I guess how when I started taking it serious, probably, you know, right like seventeen, you know what I'm saying? I already I said like Nas is like my favorite type of uh rapper because he's a storyteller. You dig what I'm saying? Like that. So I took off, you know, I kinda studied like his type of stylish, you know what I mean, with the aggression of the battle, like the the reads and shit that I was watching and, and, and you know, and like and all of that. So, you know, you'll hear the storyteller from me, but you'll hear the uh you know, you'll still hear the, like that's part of the side too mm, hip -hop. so now you, you like well, how old was you when you get your first event i started late like later? yeah 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 i started as far as like really this rap and shit serious i started late i probably was the latest out of probably all of them like my first probably real event probably wasn't until i was like 21 you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying because like i had so much other to do than worry about rapping that was just something you know what i mean like when people look at it like until you get paid for that shit is technically for fun technically you know what I mean a hobby you know what I mean like that so like when you living in a way and just trying to like live and be a grown and trying to like you dig what I'm saying like if that shit ain't paying bills then like it's fun so I ain't you know I ain't start taking it like 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 shows and putting money behind like on myself until early like adulthood got you got you got you so like your first event was it was it like a big one or uh yo my, my first event i paid um i paid you know i paid state property so i had sparks come so you know what I mean i pay i paid spark this one like state property pop and all and i, I did like my first uh uh mixtape and i um i wanted to pay sparks and his, his his team to come down and all of that so that was actually like the first like the first like the first event i did I noticed on the blog you had did you had uh they was doing an interview and they were speaking on the fact that it's some people that thought that you wasn't from Philly. What where did that come? From? That came from. I mean, I, the, I I I really don't know like where it came from. I know who it came from, which I'm not about to like give them niggas spotlight because that's what the motherfuckers want. But the niggas who that where it came from is I don't even know them niggas. Dig what I'm saying like that. So it's it's, it's more. I'm saying like I'm gonna give it to you just, just like this. Like I battle rapping since 2013, but you know I start taking off maybe two years ago. So and when it come with you know when niggas names start pop names so your man start buzzing you gonna get hate too i mean you gonna get love and you gonna be you know you, you, you gonna have hate too so you mean i'm just in the era now where a few people I me mean, is hate and it could come with the game though so i mean i'm not you know i'm not mad at gotcha at any time like doing it you know doing this journey did you think about quitting no not as far as that because i'm like i guess when i was in jail and like the music was the only thing that was taking everybody that was at least doing music yeah you know i mean it was getting people like through the day and all of that i remember you know being on the fence all day at wreck they rapping Y'all niggas is rapping, we rapping, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that was like the fun of it. I mean, at night, you know what I mean? People on the gate, niggas is rapping, and that's like every bit. So I knew when it came to that type of uh, music, like storytelling and pain type shit, and actually can relate to what other people were going through, I figure like that was the lane. And being that I've, you know, been through like mad shit that people can relate to, it was just, you know, it was just it. Dope, 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 dope.
So the past two years, you know, you, like you said, you've been lit. Like, what was that first battle that knew, like, okay, now I'm on it? That was the um, ultimate uh, madness tournament. So that was 2009, what, end of 2019? No, that was, that was, that was June 2019, ultimate um, madness tournament. That was known. So maybe May, it probably was May. Probably was. So after I got into the tournament, um, I lost the second round. Uh, Well, all right, so, I mean, following URL to know that um, it's an app now. So the tournament, the four judges, I wanted up losing like the judge vote i won the fan got to the app i won the fan vote on the app so on the physical battle on the app i'm winning but we're talking about actually there you know what i mean so the judges picked the other person but the response to when the judges picked the other people was just like so crazy it was just like all right uh, let's do this next battle. So the next battle was Cortez after that. And then, you know, I start figuring out, like, how to play the game as far as, like, how to play, like, the game of, like, rap battle and a battle rap or this era of battle rap because we all know that anybody who's a fan of battle rap know that every few years it changed as far as how to play the game, who the players is, you know, what's acceptable or not. You know what I mean? Like, so we all know that every, you know, it changes. New stars is coming in there. One person to be popping, somebody else is not popping you know what i mean like that so once i figured out the blueprint of then I, uh, you know everything started to take off dope 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 so like your famous battles like the k shine battle like What's your thoughts on it today? Like, I mean, I don't there. know what the famous battle is. I, I don't know what would be my battle because a lot of my battles is on, on the act. So that would be up to whoever seen who. You dig what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't know that. That is a question for me to be asking, I guess, like the people. Because if you don't have like the URL app, the, the last battle that's technically on YouTube, me, 2019, like early. So if you have the app, you know my last battle was um Aver. But if you don't have the app, you think I didn't battle since three years ago. right 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 just, how how is that like for the public like is it like a lot of the fans that's into battle rap they go to that app it's just a known thing or is it they all still trying to get people to get on that app i mean like um i'm sure that they still trying to get people to be on the app because i still have people always you know inbox me and be like yo uh who you battle next you know what i mean like or who did, did you battle? So I'm sure, you know, everybody, when it comes to paying a subscription every month or if they're coming to watch for something for free, you already know, like, you know, nine out of ten times people would rather, watch, you know, go on to YouTube, you know I mean, for free. But I'm not saying that the app don't have subscribers because it has the subscribers. But depending on who the mass for me to be talking to, like, the masses, so we could talk about the K-Shine battle, but did everybody see that vet? Right, right, right. And what about New Jersey tour as far as that battle? Yeah, that was the, you know I mean, that battle on the tube and all of that. But that was before I, before I got like, you know I mean, on like before I got like hot, you know what I mean? Because at the time, is he was the hottest, you know what I mean, sparking at that time. And I was just taking the battle just to get on, you know what I mean? So it, it, it was, that was what, 2018. So, I mean, so now it's like, it was like the ties has changed, you know what I mean, as far as that. Gotcha. And um, before we open it up to the floor, you want to speak? about um your deal with um, Lil Flip how did that come um the, the deal with Lil Flip came about with Reed you know Reed is um Reed and Flip got some um things happening over there and um me and me and Reed is um is close so you know he put the you know he put the bug and Flip in but you know but Flip already you know he's seen what I've been doing as far as the top tier this is as far as the battle rap as far as the acting shit you know what I'm saying, like that, and, um, you know, he was in the battlefield, all, you know, already, so, you know, he just told me if I needed something, you know me, hitting him up, I wound up hitting him up, and he just had some things, you know, when it came to business, you know what I mean, as far as that, so we wound up, you know, you know what I mean, it wound up being lucrative for me, you know what I mean, and, you know, and so, is it dope, dope. Get in the comments and let me know what you think, it's Death for the Cloud Chaser TV, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, share this on Facebook and Twitter, gang.